In three, two, one. Hello, and welcome back to today's news with your favorite broadcaster, Barbara Winfield. Tilt head to the side, smile at the camera. Uh, no, 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 don't do that. Um, start over again, and you, you say that part. I'm sorry, what? Physically, do the words in, in green. Speak the ones in red. Oh, that is just weird. But whatever. It's cool. <sighs> okay, roll it again, and try to sound less weird. Okay, I'll try. Three, two, one. Hello, and welcome back to today's news with your favorite broadcaster, Barbara Winfield. Today we will be discussing nuclear power. The big question, is it worth it? According to these charts, which have no statistical value, nuclear power has 97 beneficial use and 3.14 disastrous down the hole use. Now, to our show's environmental specialist, it's on the subject, Jill. Oh. Hello, my name is Jill Parker. Now let's talk about nuclear power. Okay, this right here, this is a power plant. That myself. And this right here is all the nice and steamy stuff coming out. Now, it is not all nuclear like you may believe. No, no, no. This is all healthy, pure water. That means all the annoying bugs that you don't like are still going to live tomorrow. And they're also safe for lakes and oceans and steams and toilets and bathtubs. Yeah, it is wonderful to give energy to your home and all that other fun stuff. It's fabulous! Now, back to you. Noob. And now for a word from our warfare specialist, Chase Sparks. Thanks, Barbara. Yep, this is me, Chase Sparks, warfare specialist. Now, Jill had a point. Nuclear power is great, but it's also used in today's warfare. Not only in today's, but also throughout history. Take World War II, for example. We bombed the snot out of Japan. And we used an atomic bomb, which is a nuclear power type source weaponry thing, which is what I am good at. So, we have some safety tips on atomic bombs, and here they are. In case of a nuclear bomb, this is what you may see, a bright white light in the sky. In case of an atomic bomb, you should probably properly learn to duck and cover. Take this for example. Ouch! That's got to hurt! Now this is how you properly, yes you there! This is how you should probably learn to duck and cover in case of the event of an atomic bomb. Just listen to what I say, okay? Okay. Step one. Drop to your knees and hide under any sort of sturdy furniture such as a table, a desk, or a mattress. That's going to have to do. Step two. Place your hands on the back of your neck and put your head down in between your knees. Step three. Prepare for impact of being exploded and then wait for the okay that it is gone. Now for the deep stuff. In the event of nuclear warfare, most people die on impact. But the few people who suffer the rest of the weeks actually die sooner or later. Or do they? Well, I believe the radiation poisoning caused from the atomic bomb will cause the dead to rise. Yup, zombies. Nasty little critters. <sighs> but I think it'd be a lot cooler if we all turned it to Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Hi-ya! <sighs> but seriously, people, zombies will be the end of humanity! <laughs> okay, somebody needs to start seeing some therapy. But 
anyway, to conclude this broadcast for the night, I have a special guest. Everybody, <sighs> Chase Sparks. Hey guys. He shaved just for me. And you got a He's lovely such a, Oh, I love you so much. I love you more, darling. And you're such a handsome. Oh my gosh, the And off.